Hello YouTube, this is an AC Fix production. All things related to this video can be found in the video description, so be sure to check there. All inquiries can be sent to nacyfix at hotmail.com. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Hello YouTube, it has been two or three months, and I've nearly doubled in subscribers since then. So I'd like to uh, jump off the topic train here and quickly just say thank you because it is truly, I guess, an honor that I have uh, so many subscribers. I really didn't expect to have this many subscribers when I first started out this little channel. I expected maybe a hundred of them after a year, and it's been less than a year, and I already have like 600, so I guess it goes to show that making good material gets you good results. I'm going to talk to you today about fixing a stuck pixel or mild screen burn and if you have an older LCD monitor or a cheap one you might have encountered some stuck pixels or screen burn. It's called J Screen Fix and it's a browser uh, applet and uh, it's for Java and I will include the link to it in the description. Uh, I tried this on my mom's LCD monitor, which has four stuck pixels. It got rid of two, so half of them. So you might get some uh, results. You should leave it running for about 20 minutes. Here is a little preview of what it is. I actually have it open in my browser in the next window over here. If you respond badly to fast-moving, colorful images like static TV, then don't look at this because it's very dangerous. For you then so basically this is supposed to uh, supposed to uh, fix stuck pixels if you press f11 the screen will uh, you know get uh, the browser window will get bigger take away the task bar at the bottom and it will remove your uh, quick links and stuff up here under the bar so you can get more of a more screen so you can get more pixels that might be sort of near the bottom or towards the top. Anyway, I'm going to get out of this screen before I have a seizure. Alright, so that is J Screen Fix. The link to it is in the description. You should leave it running for 20 minutes. Other information about it as well as J Screen Fix Deluxe and the help and fact is on the website and the website link is in the description of this video. Just click more info. How long have we gone? About three minutes. Good. All right. The next application is uh, called Vistart. Now I've used it for a very long time myself, and I actually actually did recommend it to people in one of my first videos, but I took that video down because it was causing a lot of confusion to people who had not seen my other videos. If you have been a long time subscriber, you might know what I'm talking about. Uh, the like I said, the program is called Vistart, and uh, for some reason, Camtasia doesn't really allow my start menu to come up properly, so the start menu right now might look kind of weird, like it doesn't have any borders or anything, but um, basically what it is, is it's a Windows Vista start menu for Windows XP. It has the same glossy look and everything, and the same quick search, so if I wanted to look for, um, I don't know. WordPad. Bam. Got it. If I wanted to look for Notepad. If I wanted to look for Paint. There it is. If I wanted to look for something about Windows. I got Windows Update, Defender, Live Messenger, Media Player, Movie Maker, Vista Upgrade Advisor. You know. So basically it's just the Vista start menu. I actually find it very helpful because I have a humongous list of programs and it sprays across the entire screen. Some things I'm looking for are not even on there even though I looked on it for like 15 minutes. So it can be a real pain. Uh, so the link to Vistart is in the description. Uh, I'd recommend that you use Vistart with a Vista uh, skin, like a Vista emulator. So Windows XP looks like Vista because if not the start menu itself will not really blend in well with the default XP theme or a different XP theme. 
Alright, I guess that's it for today. I hope to be coming up with something a little more substantial. I uh, kind of went through my own little training because I kind of went dry on things to make videos about. Then I realized that what I, things that I used to make videos about were things that were kind of just neat. And I was kind of trying to make videos about stuff that was too big uh, compared to what I usually did. And so it kind of got me swamped a bit. But anyway, I hope to be uh, more uh, active in video making here. All the links to Vistart and JScreen Fix is in the description. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And sorry if I got off topic a couple times. Thank you. Goodbye.